brand new day And we'll be making history Are you with me? Won't you stay? We have come so far This is who we are And like the rising sun We have just begun to play our part This is the time we form the chorus Lift your voice for those before us We can rely on one another Feel the pride, let's show Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. This is Gail Gaia, and this is Free Range, where we graze on wild ideas. Seems like I have a couple little glitches in the beginning there. So anyway, we have, uh, we graze on one uh, wild ideas, and we have wonderful guests. And uh, my wonderful guest today is Miss Jenny Lee. Let me bring her on. Everybody knows Jenny, I think, by now. Hi, yep. Jenny. How are you? Uh, pretty good, I think. Well, Very that's interesting. Good. Okay, we got people in the chat already. <laughs> that's good, good, good. Sage, well, that's great. John, Miss Jeep. <laughs> yep. And good evening. Welcome, everyone. We're happy that you're here. And we have um, some very interesting things to talk about. Jenny has some drawings and uh, some important things to talk to you about. And we have a few little things we can show you along the way. So, Jenny, why don't you go ahead and take it away and tell us yeah, what you Yeah, I don't know been... what subject I want to start with, so maybe we should go into this, uh, something that the media uh, is trying to portray, because everything that they've, they've always put out is always the reverse of what it looks like or what it, what it is or what they're trying to hide. So, and I, I think I sent you it on Facebook. So I did a drawing um, for what I saw as that original form of what they were trying to put hair on. And, and then the mouth was probably right, but the eyes weren't. And I wasn't seeing hair on them at all. And um, Oh, you're talking about the demon drawing? Yeah. Should I bring that up? Yeah, go ahead and bring it up. Um, okay, let me share screen here. Make so sure. it's just funny how they always try to make something look like a human. Let me get it um, in the right place here. Okay. All right. This, this is, <laughs> this looks to me, maybe I shouldn't say anything until I put it up. So I won't. Let me share the screen. And I did that yesterday morning. I drew it yesterday morning. Yeah. Yeah. I just went in and, and showed it. In the, so as we're looking at it, so the, the jawline comes out a little further, and then in the mouth, which you can tell it's a serpent type of uh, process. That um, the thing in the mouth, I think, should, but see that uh, they showed that wide mouth. Uh huh. And uh, it, it, um, there was a, uh, I, I think it's an old old shot of an old movie where it shows us girl is in a cave and it looks like the whole mouth is eating her face, you know, and how the, the mouth seems to extend, but the, the thing in the mouth was like a little, uh, serpent, um, in the bottom of the tongue. They showed me that. So there, and I was like, okay, what about the ears? They're like, no, no, those ears are wrong. The hair is wrong. No ears in that way. No hair that they showed on TV. They're like, because we're talking about how this reality is breaking down. And as it breaks down, those mirror effects to cover that up are breaking down. So if they got you focused on looking like, you know, looking for something with the hair on it and bone structure is different, that's what you're going to look for. But you need to, I always tell people to accept things in their original form, what you see. And that way it's important to identify and be strong in what you're, what's in front of you and what you're seeing and what you need to accept. They're always, you know, here we can go into the Fabio aliens, the 
you know, everything looks like a human. It doesn't. Okay. So that's the, the problem. You got to get this well, focus out of it. You know, this is the thing that's funny. New York is going to turn in to the show of the men in black. You know what I'm saying? Where you see the lizard <laughs> he's out dancing with the, you know, the men in black, and you're going to see all these. I am just telling you, they're like, this Jen is going to be a men in black situation, and you're going to see stuff you didn't think you're going to see. And um, parts of that movie kind of shows um, kind of like the city type and everything like that, but how they're hiding, how they hide under certain features, how they, you know, cover their face. And so everybody's around and because it's easy for the concept of us to look, you know, to expect a demon. But we're not expecting a different species of how it looks. So that's the thing. You've got to get your head around what these look like. Um, what color was he, Jen? This had a weird pigmentation because it wasn't just one color. It was a, there's a gray in it but there's a there's a light greenish real real light greenish with it so as you're looking at it, if you focused on for a while would that change colors would it uh do some type of a uh, mirror effect would it so, be kind of calico like you know how yeah and yeah kind of and the thing is that the thing that you're gonna you need to before you even see something like that is really pay attention to the soul that's the whole thing that's really going to tell you a lot how things are changing because if you're not sensing the soul, if you're not sensing, then all of a sudden you see something flash and change like you've seen on TV a hundred times. And then you think your mind's making, you know, but the eyes go back, the mouth extends further than they're saying. And all the then, better to eat with. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I mean... <laughs> Uh, reptilians and uh, demons, I mean, they want the same thing, you know, to consume you, to, um, you know, th and that's not something to be trusted in any situation, in any form. I mean, there's enough evidence out there that you've seen these um, shots that they're, they're not uh, uh, welcoming vessels at all. And so your power is to stay in that light your power is to identify. Your power is to push it away. Your power is not to be in fear of it. Rebuke it. <laughs> in the days to come, you know, you're going to be, you're going to have to stand your ground. And, and that, that's what's what's happening. Just like, and I, I think I, I told you, I told the Signal Group, which is an amazing group. They're so strong and independent and they're just ready for it to rip um and that this is a week where you're going to put your shield up because the shit is going to roll it's going to fall on you it's going to call you names it's going to do whatever it can to take you down you know this is a tough you know we're going to go into a tough month of t being tested because you're seeing things right now I don't care if it's in the truther community. I don't care if it's in the UFO community. I don't care uh, if it's your neighbor down the street. You're seeing their true intentions, their true self, what they're here for, the light or the dark. Are you serving the light or are you serving the dark? And you're seeing those true intentions. You're feeling that true and ener energy of what's their intentions here. Um, and that's the thing. It's to, um, it's to occupy you. And this is what I say with this whole eclipse thing is don't go into the fear process. Don't follow what they want you to follow. Don't, you know, I'm not saying to get, get outside and look at the, the eclipse. I'm saying, look at the sun. Um, after that process, look at the, how the sunlight comes in, how the sky, the sky, I keep hearing, hearing a green color, different colors that you will see in the sky that you've seen before. Like I've always said, I don't feel the actual space is that color and I, it's not a blind, I know a colorblind color. So I think we're going to see a lot of different stuff that you're not prepared for. And so a lot of people are going to be in that fear process. So then I just sent you, you know, I think, 
cut the chur that I did. And it's like when you look at that, you don't feel a soul. You feel uh, a, a entity that is waiting for opportunity or fear to play the game with you. That's how they mind control people. Yeah. Is with fear. And that's why when they put that out, when they showed the media, you know what's funny? Just like the cell phone thing, everybody, everybody's jumping on the bandwagon. Well, this is what they look like. And you notice uh, the truthers and all of them, they cannot think on their own not to look at this in a different way, not to say, hey, is this true? Or we're just going to go with it and follow through with it. I, that's the first thing I don't do. I'm like, I want to see it for what they say the form is, not for what something is trying to push on to me that form is. And I said, no, that's not it. So why are they pushing it that way? So you won't see nothing like this. You'll just walk on by. You won't ignore it. You won't. S and this is a, another thing is I always get smells with things really bad, really bad, foul smells. I've heard that before. <laughs> uh -huh. that they, 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 um, they have a smell. Yeah. They do have a smell. So and I feels... think a, a complete and total lack of compassion is a big teller. Right. Too. It is waiting for weakness. It's waiting for opportunity. That's what it, you know, that's basically what the deep state does. Um, uh, on your vulnerability, no empathy, no sympathy. It's just opportunity. Um, so that's why I said when I saw those pictures and they're like, does that look right? And I go, no, it doesn't. That's right. It's not. He looks like a reptilian. Um, yeah. The pictures that I've seen and... Um, in, uh, or, or it could go, well, a snake's a reptile too. So it, it's got kind of features of. Like, but that's both. too extreme to use that word to go and put that on public. They can't adapt to that. You know what I'm saying? So a demon word is a common word that people think, well, you know, but, you know, again, I didn't see these big ears. I didn't see the hair, you know. So this is what I, I came up with. And you know me. I want it verified. I want, if I draw something or write something, I want to get it verified. I don't just put it out there. I'm like, I got to wait for it to verify itself. So we'll see if people see stuff like this or, you know, um, you're seeing, uh, and I wouldn't say maybe the military chasing down something in New York that looked like this, you know what I'm saying? And all I'm going to be thinking is in my head is the, the men in black song, you know, <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, you know, because if you, it's one of those movies you should watch again to see if it's coming into one port of reality. Because I actually think that was started in New York. So, I mean, it's just another movie that's trying to put things out there. So, um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting when this uh, unravels. I just want to um, let Lynn know that I, I, I smudged just before we did this show because we've had some... <laughs> um, people come in the chat that just are not very nice <laughs> yeah well like i said put your shield on because it's going to be showing so here's another one that kathy wants to know what does it smell like garbage <laughs> um well, i don't know i would the way i describe this in a hot day um not the completely as as the potent of trash but it feels like rotting shit. Oh, lovely. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> well, that is the way I would describe it. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Uh, um, so, yeah. Oh, no, somebody's saying, you, I don't think, wait a minute. Um, it, if it's benevolent, then I can't wait to meet them. Those, um, they're not benevolent. Well, uh, you know, I am not going to want to meet these ones. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So it's just, it's a. Kevin says they smell like a sewer. Maybe that's a good description. Yeah, that's too. a good term. But with you add heat to that and it just makes it worse. That's the smell. And I, when I do see things and then I get that potent smell with it and it's, I, I do have I get, have a gag reflex on certain smells on things when I get spiritually, but yeah, 
it's the the whole watching what I didn't like did the effect on is doing a, a larger seeing the mouth move out further that's what was freaky and like I said there was a a, a skip movie that they did in some demon movie and it looks like this girl's standing there in front of one of these and it's just devouring and putting its mouth around her head, you know, and that's what it looks like to me. It's not pretty. Um, and that grayish, greenish, oops, you know, nasty. And, uh, I missed something here. Oh, here, this one here. Um, Carla, Carla wants to ask, will they be, will they be out on the eclipse? See, and what I think, the trail of that that dark light, anything that cannot survive in the light will follow that trail of darkness. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's why you see a lot that wants to want you to focus on that trail of that eclipse. And I'm just like, no. Just stay in high vibrations, high tones, high frequency, and don't be occupied that by that dark. Um, eclipse process it's not you're not going to get anything from it um so that's why if you don't give it its strength you don't give it its, the energy you're going to be fine it's just these ones who are fascinated with this program that hits you and tells you what you need to do and what you need to fear and then they're all of a sudden they're fascinated with all this dark eclipse process and then um Again, you have certain communities that are following that through. Uh, I call them pushers. They're paid to do that. And then you s see them pushing it because they're paid to push it. And you just got to, um, this is what I talked about, is people need to s let's sit in their own instinct, sit in their own capability, sit in their own light, and just be calm in it. Walk through the fire. Be calm in it. Not to be reacting in a 3d process with this well if you stay with your connection with source that'll give you strength yes right that's the whole thing it, but uh it's yeah, like walk anything. through the fire with you i mean it's even yes even, exactly yeah. walk through the fire and the whole thing and that's what the way i describe this is i tell people get into the right brain on this when you're going through this process disconnect anything that's personal emotion you're just this warrior energy and you're not connected to anything emotionally just stay in the boundaries of the light stay in the boundaries not letting anything uh push anything onto you put fear into you because you're going to see that enough around these normies reacting out um and i did a picture today i think i gave it to you you can go through another one that i i put how this the normies are going to um jeep oh. help me with this one let me see which way do i go um i think i go this way maybe okay. that one that one <laughs> right, has, yeah, the right way <laughs> yeah so what it has is the white hats white rabbits and then this is the the Wait cities yeah there that's part of it though where did it go it, it, it moved i didn't mean to make it it's move that one there. okay oh i see that's why okay so it has a normal person Ooh, hitting the music. pavement. Yeah. <laughs> hitting the pavement hard with their puke bucket on the side of them. And now the reality is hitting hard. And in the back is the military fence in the cities. And there's a white bus, you know, and then the military hop uh, ha helicopter in the back. So then all of a sudden their crash, their existence of what's going to happen is just falling in front of them. That's what that's about. That whole uh, picture. Yeah, they're so, going to hit. We were talking about that the other day. They're going to hit the pavement hard. Yes. Um, uh, well, I'm thinking about doing t-shirts that says that. You know. Maybe this will wake you saying. up. <laughs> yeah. Just someone's face crashed on the pavement. And then it's like, are you awake yet? <laughs> and their, their face is on the pavement. You know. So that's that's what's coming, and then their whole reality of that. Is so, there a, another one that you want to show here, or you want to wait on those? Um, well, then I've already seen. You can go to the other one, but it that's that's still in formation of what 
the one with the um the white hats or oh. the work the good guys or the other uh, one? good guys the good guys yeah okay. there we go <clears throat> okay so this is what i've talked about now let's go into the the, the spiritual energy and I said that there will be regions. Of course, one's the ambassador, which is the shepherd. And then the other ones, um, I don't know all their names. There's Putin. And then you got the you, yeah, the other ones at the bottom. Um, oh, three that are of them. Four of them. There's five. Well, I mean, at the bottom, I was talking about the yeah. three. Z, cause yeah. So I always said that there well, would be regions that they would be in control over. There were certain uh, leaders that would have a region area and Putin and Trump were the main ones. And then you would have China and then Iranian India and, and then, Saudi Arabia. Yep, exactly. Those are the ones I see. And those are when I see the those, uh, angels in the corners and represents our world. And like I said, I don't feel that these are the same vessels that were here when they first born. And that's what things have changed. And that's what I feel. I've been saying that for a while. Um, so, um, but I, like I said, the ambassador and the, the shepherd is the one that's leading the flock. Um, so one? that is the New York. <laughs> Um, with the fence and the helicopters and the isolated areas and the buses and, you know, everybody that didn't think they'd get caught or getting caught. Yeah. So there's some shenanigans going on behind the scenes in the whole political arena too. Oh yeah. It's, it's coming to, I, like I said, I think we're going the whole election thing, I don't even pay attention to it because it's, it's it was always a dismantling phase of going into a higher council um, that are higher beings that I've always said that that's um, going to be part of it. So, I mean, that's just, we're, go, we're going in these dismantling phases. I got um, two little clips that I, I could share. Um, okay. If that's okay with you. Yeah, that's fine. Um, all right, we can come back to this because I know there's one more, but we'll we'll save that one um, for now. So let me share again because that's all you have to do it. And I'm gonna. Um, I just ran into this guy, and in uh, there, there's one other guy, and I really like what um, they're putting out. And I'm just gonna read through it. Okay. Um, his post is. Um, um, well, in. Ariel's one of my favorites, so people know that too. And my signal group, they love him too. Yes, facts and conspiracy um, and uh, so on. So anyway, here's his red flags. Open borders, no patriotism, right. one world religion. And this mm. is interesting too. Who here follows Sasha Stone? Who in here follows Clay Cart? You should uh -huh. know by now these two are in the same circle with Michael Flynn. Now uh -huh. you can see where they are trying to push the right wing. Now you can see why they had to infiltrate the mega movement to do it. Uh -huh. Now you see why Michael Flynn went, created the Reawaken America tour. All of these right. people on stage are Democrat liberals posing as conservatives. The entire time they were plotting to remove Donald Trump. Uh -huh. That way, Flynn would come in as a savior of America. Right. People, it's, it's as plain as day now. We all have, we all seen how, seen how Ivan Recklin, I don't know if they say that in his name right, but uh, I don't care because of what he was doing, was giddy at the thought on Alex Jones' show if Trump, of Trump being assassinated. I, I mean, yeah. To think that they can just openly come out no and say sympathy no empathy you know exactly. and that's the whole thing it's go. just a good point i think it's a joke yeah so this is why i had to pull him from behind the scenes slowly until you all caught on and once you seen that one video everything clicked and i'm going to mm -hmm. tell you now 
there's a couple of very good shows on um, with uh, on the Michelle Moore show with um, Mike Gill. And if you want to know more about this and the things that are going on behind the scenes, I would suggest that you, you look at it. So um, that's that one. Now, here's another well, one. Uh, Sasha Stone, another Fabio. Uh, <laughs> I, I think so. I, I just, yeah. uh, he's, I've had, I've had him on my show. Um, mm -hmm. And I remember something that was said that, didn't resonate with me or whatever was kind of um, blaming right. humanity for allowing it. And I understand we have to be accountable, but at the same time we were deceived constantly right. and there were um, things done to make it even more difficult, like frequency fences and so on. Right. Um, and, uh, putting out low frequency to keep people that way and, and so on. Here, here, here. Exactly, because that's how they mind control people. Right. So now I want to show this guy. You'll like this guy too. Let me show him and then I'm, we can go back to what we were talking about. Um, his name is Sargon the Great, and he puts out some great stuff. He's on Instagram, and I really like him. I always try to catch him whenever I go there. Um He's talking here about uh, Tesla energy and yeah. how that's going to be our future. Um, they're already using it. Let him, well, I'll let him explain it. He does a really good job of it. So. Okay. Are you going to play for me now? <laughs> I'm clicking on it. It's not playing. That's interesting. Let me try this. No. Wait a minute. Sorry about that. That's okay. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Hang on. I got to find it again. I thought I, there's no reason why it shouldn't have uh, played. So uh, where is he? There he is. Oh, he's live now. Maybe that's why. Maybe. Uh, that's, wait a minute, wait a minute. We should be able to go back to a, that one. Yeah, that that's clips, not the one. Clips that he has that you're referring to. So, yeah. Sorry about this, guys. Sometimes this isn't as easy as it looks. <laughs> now I lost his place again. Look on it. Wait a minute. Oh, great. Well, hang on a minute. I guess I hate it when that kind of thing happens. <laughs> Go ahead, Jenny. You could talk, and I'll no, see no, if it's I can fine. fix it. I mean, if you, I'm sure they'll give you a minute. Um, it's, okay. I think it's fine. Well, I'm going to stop sharing for a minute, and I'm going to try to see if I can get it up again. And I don't know why. I guess maybe because it was live, that may have changed things a little bit. It might have been just maybe. So. So like, um, like I want to remind people, like when they went into this, uh, this, this whole freak out of the cell phone process and everybody, I mean, they were getting ridiculous on this, you know, and what your phone was going to do. And I think that, you know, it was kind of a test of seeing how, how people will take it, um, to another extreme. And like I said, they, they paid some of these people to push it and then, um, they reacted and it was a big nothing burger again. And so we're down to some of this process where it's a, uh, an operation that's has to, uh, be taken care of. And you just got to roll out with the process with, with what's going on. Um, and just maintaining your energy and not getting into this, uh, whole freak out process. I mean, we've talked about, you know, the East Coast and the West Coast and things that are going to react to that. And then I talked about, and I said it on this show, and I think I've said it in mine, where we talked about um, Lady Liberty and that there would be a light that would come and it would go right into the water. 
uh, but it it actually the thunder actually hit hit the Lady Liberty instead of going into the water. So it might have gone there. But I yeah, did you about see the um, the lightning strikes on mm -hmm. the um, Statue of Liberty, and one of them was right. split in two. I thought right. that was interesting. <laughs> right. And I, I do. And I mean, that was something I was like, okay, could this be what they were talking about? That you would see a light that comes down and it would be either right by it or right in front of it or in the water. So I guess we're, you know, in, in the coming days, we're going to know what that means. Because I believe, like I said, I think I got it. I think I've got it. Let's try it one more time. If this okay. doesn't work this time, I'll not be very happy. <laughs> okay. earlier with the energy vampire drones okay yeah the tesla towers that nikolai tesla came up with the old tartarian technology from atlantis that free energy where these tesla coils can just draw electricity straight out the air and transmit it wirelessly to your home to your car any type of machinery that runs off of electricity, including yourself. The frequency can be purified and help charge you as well. The powers that used to be will have you believe that they dismantled all of these Tesla coils, that Tesla just died and all his info and inventions and everything were just scrapped. Fam, it's a total lie. They're still using the Tesla coil technology to this day. They're still using the Atlantean tech, the crystal grid to run everything. This is what I'm telling you about the power lines. There is no nuclear power. There is no coal. That is bullshit. These goofballs all lied to you. They're still using the Tesla coil technology except in the form of power lines. These power lines draw electricity straight out the air exactly like the Tesla coil. That whole lie about uh, power stations having to generate electricity is so that they can charge you for it. They know they're full of shit. It's also their way of terraforming the planet, the realm. You guys understand. They can use nuclear waste as an excuse. Oh, we have to make electricity with nuclear, so we have all this waste. Bullshit. It's so you can pollute the ocean. We have to use coal to generate electricity. No, you don't. It's so you can pollute the air with that smut, you goofy bitches. We're not sleeping anymore. You sleep now, and we're up straight up and there's no stopping this spiral you understand because nagas like mystic youth and the 144 are here as the counterbalance and we're going to teach the people the truth it's all free energy family they're still using it to this day they use it in their secret cities their underground bases uh their underwater bases anywhere where they have their little enclaves they're using all this technology for their own benefit they're still using it here in the slave pen cabbage patch, except they're telling us a whole different story so that they can keep charging us, keep us tethered to their grid, to their system. And how do they do it? Mind control. Knowledge is the key. Knowledge is power. Knowing is half the battle. Once you know, you could chop. You guys overstand me. So all of this foolishness is going in the trash. We want all our free energy devices back. We want all our energy back. And we're calling it all home. This is New Earth and this is the free range. You fuck around and you will find out. Let's go. Bang, bang. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, I like him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does a lot of good ones. I, I like him. Um, oops, yeah, that was interesting. I had a dream last night, too, that was weird. So they were showing me, you know, with my feet on the ground. You know when you were a little kid and you would take your feet and rub it against the carpet and go back and forth and you would shock somebody? Yeah. And then they are like, why don't you try that now? And I'm like, Why? <laughs> Why do I want to do that now? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to try it now. I mean, uh, so the energy just showing the grid is different, how things are different. So, you know, and we used to do that as a, when a kid. You used to rub your feet against the carpet and see how static would create so a current and all that stuff. So it just, it's just uh, interesting how that was put in front of me recently of having a dream about that again, saying, you know, it's your whole... Uh, spiritual system is a uh, is going to recharge 
You know, I was starting to get shocks just for no reason. Mm -hmm. I didn't even have to rub my feet on the ground or anything um, at different times. Yeah, so maybe people want to experience with that. Let me know because I don't know. <laughs> to find out. You know, Mandy. Um, yeah, exactly. So Mandy I'm, has a question for you. If you want, um, the question is: uh, Any thoughts on them during the eclipse? For them targeting heavy metals within all of our bodies, we have from food, water, medicine, etc. No, we all have them. Not sure how I feel about it. No, I, I don't believe that's going to change anything. I believe that might have been an old regime, but I don't believe that now. There are that. a lot of things that they wanted to do and they yep. were planning on doing that um, they're not going to be able to do. Well, they, they said that three, four years ago, and it, it became all these threats, and we would be in these Walmart institutions. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's and just, uh, uh, it didn't happen, so yeah. They're just replaying the same that's program. Sense. I would think creator wouldn't let that happen, but what do you think? That's yeah, that's what you yeah. think too. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. A lot of yeah. a lot of their plans have been foiled. I mean, part of their right. playbook is in the Bible. You know? Right. Um, we didn't come here to get to this point and all of a sudden everything fails. Really? <laughs> I mean, that's what you need to look at. I mean, did we get all through? Did people that sacrificed and got there to a certain level and then we get through this? in all the generations and all of a sudden it's like oh it's just gonna fail no it's not so and that's the thing and they that's that's the whole process but it gets you to do research it gets you to focus on things it gets you to listen up too but yeah this just um stay your um in your own light i mean that's literally telling you these people that are awake, they're literally going to walk through the ashes and fire, and they're just, it's not even going to phase them. You might have a lot of neighbors face burning on the gravel, but they, the, the ones that are awake that did the research, they're not going to be in shock in anything anymore. The, so many spiritual people are traveling to specific cities in the path of the eclipse to see this. So is it about energy harvesting? What do you say about that? Well, the negative. Yeah. If you're 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 feeling that you're uh, having to follow this energy in in, in a, a eclipse way, um, then you're following the wrong light. This is a very. I'm going to put this up here. This is a very difficult question to answer. Um, hi, Jenny. Do you have any idea when things will start happening in the public? Any idea over how long a period of time? I'm looking to find out. When will our everyday life start being affected? I think Tuesday and Wednesday, you're going to start to see, I think a chess piece is going to hit. So, yeah, affected. It's been, it's been affected. But now a major, instead of these smaller chess pieces, you're going to see a big chess piece, I think, that this week um, that you're going to see an impact, um, especially the banking. Um, I would say the banking format, the banking um, guidelines, the banking uh, process. Uh, at some point, someone has to be that that first one to step into that that light of pushing and understanding that this is what's the new process. Okay, they can't hold on forever anymore. There's no there's no reason to anyway. So I feel like this week is a new phase that's going to be put in your face and that acceptance part is going to have to come to the truth. I mean, this whole process with this whole eclipse is just, it's just a background situation that they're able to implement and use. And everybody else is like, squirrel, squirrel, eclipse, the squirrel, you know? And I, I'm just like, I thought we were past uh, everybody playing this game and, the big nothing burger. I thought they were, you know, literally looking outside the box and paying attention to the right things now, but they're, um, um, and you know, you can go back to my book and I, I put it in 2017 and, it, and I'm going to say it here and I'm going to say it again. It says it in my book about the spiritual community that only like, uh, 15 to 10% or legit that are not bought and sold 
And I'm, I'm saying that again, and I'm going to say it again. It's in my book. And that was in 2017 that I, I put in there. And I still say it to this day. It's just more evidence what they're bought and paid for on this. But the thing is, like I said at the end of this, it, the master that you serve is going to be known. It's going to be known. And I, I've told people from the beginning, it's going to be known who you serve how what's your true intentions of this process what you're if you're really serving humanity or you're res, just reserving your own ego or your own pocket because it's going to come to a, a halt an end process and i have i don't change my mind on when they put me on a path i stay on consistent of that pattern until i see it come to pass and that's the thing they said it in 2000 and 17, and I still say it to this day, 10 to 15% of the spiritual community you will see have been doing the work from day one. The rest is going to fall. They're going to disappear. You're never going to hear from them again after it doesn't it fall. Their narrative falls. I'm just telling you because they're, they get irritated with the truth that's already happening. They're getting irritated to hear it. They're getting irritated and it's getting under their skin. And that just tells you, um, this path that we choose, it's not an easy path. It's not uh, set in your life of being, ref you know, refreshed and meditated and you're, every, you're great. No, you're tired, you're exhausted, you're wore out. But you keep going, you keep going, you keep going. And that's what I said at the end. It doesn't matter anymore because the end of this process is going to be seen for everybody to see it and witness it no matter what. And Your there will be, will be some, shown. There'll be some people who are false false light, and then it will, but it will be revealed to them that it is false light, mm -hmm. and then it will be up to them. Are they going to accept that? Right. So, question: Who's following an eclipse? Who would be leading their people to fall uh, an eclipse right now in any spiritual avenue? It's it's just completely stupid. It's stupid. And I don't have a problem saying it. You know, they, it's, it's just this process. I'm like, when I got into this, I was just like, it's like, didn't like the, res, you know, what they were following here. They didn't like what they were following here on the truthers. And they didn't follow, like what they were following on the, the spiritual side. And the, and I was like, no, I'll just take my own path, my own way, my own, my own path. And I'm going to stay in that because I, that's what's important to me to see the very end of the truth. Um, not to yes. occupy you at the end. Just this was kind of interesting. I don't know if you had uh, seen this. I just I, I just saw it today, as it earlier today, about Michael Baxter, who puts out Real Raw News. Uh -huh. um, it was reported that Red Hats, they call themselves Red Hats, who claimed responsibility for the New York earthquake because they took down a New York soon. Well, I believe and, that things are being dismantled, but I also think there's this last process they that they have a, a chain reaction from and i believe california it has not had his there is yet it does not have it has not had that chain reaction event yet so that's coming there you know um and so um all these different types of programs are being dismantled and you're going to feel it you're going to see it you're going to witness it and they're they're not hiding it anymore. They're showing you. No, they're really blatant now. And um, you can't get your nose stuck up in your own life anymore and ignore it like they want to do. Like that's not something I want to be occupied. That's not something I want to be paying attention to. Well, you don't have a choice. The truth is at your door now, and you're gonna see it in white buses loading up people that should have done the right thing, but did not. And the people that you think are good, you're going to find out they're not at all. That's what's going to really shock people. Yes. I think that's what they, these red hats did was a good thing because it was actually, um, uh, I think it was protecting Mr. T to some mm -hmm. extent, but it also was, um, it, it was a bunch of veterans and, and guys that had just had enough and they wanted to, um, 
I think what they did was a good thing in spite of it wasn't it was well, against I'm protocol but these, I'm expecting the cell towers to come down I'm ex expecting massive fire on those too along with the fact that I said the like I said the bridges would all collapse to a certain point but the the buildings are another thing that you're going to see collapse or burn too I think it'll be mainly the Santonic buildings too won't it mm -hmm. Are the ones well, that are, there's going to be yeah. some government ones that they're it's no longer well, an they're pretty satanic. <laughs> yeah, it's no longer a department. Yeah. It's no it's no longer existing. It's no longer needed. So a lot of that. Carl is asking if we should stay away from woods or forests and national parks. If there are many people, are I don't abducted. think so. If I can submerge myself in nature, I would right now. So you don't think it's a problem anymore? Mm -mm. Well, that's good. We're taking the planet back. <laughs> yes. Giving it back to nature, too. Yeah, let's see. Okay, here. Everybody wants to know what time something is. And, mm -hmm. Any idea when the EBS type situation will begin? It's rolling. It's already rolling. It's it's already never, rolling. I've said this from the beginning. It would be rolling. So when you have power outages for a certain amount of hours, and it'll roll out. And then the only thing that's going to change the difference is your different type of broadcasting system is just flipped. And now you will be stuck watching a program for a good two weeks and you cannot change the channel. <laughs> you will be forced to know the truth. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and after right. you probably listen for a while, you, you all of a sudden you're going to be captivated by it. Because, right. Oh my God, I can't believe it. No, that can't be true. <laughs> right. And they can sit in front of that. But then most of the ones that are awake and already know this truth, they're going to be outside watching everybody fall apart. <laughs> I'm telling you. Actually, I'll be there to, to help. They all need to um, enlist a uh, conspiracy theorist. That they used to call conspiracy theorists. Right. Uh, they're going to need one to help explain things. But. Right. Um, Another area, I have another little clip that's kind of, I just wanted to show a short part of it. Um, it. It shows how much is changing in our world. The whole um, court system is going to change too. And I have a little right. clip of um, Judges, uh, Nikki lawyers, Klan. attorneys, yeah. Do you want to see it? Yep. Okay. Now this is, uh, I'm going to suggest that, you know, if you... Um, you might be interested in seeing the entire video because it is good. Um, and let me share it here. And I will play Mickey's part because she's been, she has done a lot of really good stuff here in Arizona with Maricopa County um, and their nefarious activities in 2020 and which continue today. Now, um, let me start this part. So they're attempting to traffic your person. They're opening bonds in your name. They're trafficking them on their markets that only they have access to. They're drawing money from your Sesta KV that only they have access to. They're actually creating a trust uh, in your name. Hold in on a second. Case. You just step. You just step right over something really important. And now this is you know something you're extremely immersed in. Maybe something that it's the first time I've, they've ever heard this concept. Uh, so say, repeat it again and explain what you just said. Yeah. So when we were born, they basically knew that you were about to pay a considerable amount of taxes as a U.S. citizen. So they basically opened a trust in your name um, because technically you brought your our, our, our hospitals are actually foundries. <clears throat> They are tra human trafficking foundries. <laughs> so when you have your child in a hospital <clears throat> and you sign the birth certificate, it only has the mother's name on that. And so they're basically labeling that child a bastard child without the father. And they're presuming and presuming that you're dead on arrival, which is shocking. They open a trust in our name and then they, they it's called a SESTA KV. Some call it a master trust or uh -huh. a social security trust. They create a social security card and they pl place that as a bond inside. So they've already assumed that you're going to fall for a lot of their cons. They've assumed that uh, because you're born in American that you're going to likely be involved in all sorts of things, opening up a bank account, opening up an LLC, um, having a college loan or a mortgage, something like that. 
they can open bonds in our name every time we do these things. Um, so you have in this estate and you have seven years to uh, claim that estate or else the Pope claims it. And by the way, they've taken your birth certificate and you, they took your little footprint, which you call the soul, S-O-L-E, because they want our soul, and they place it under the Vatican. And, and that's really even the end time prophecy. It says that in the book of Peter that you're gonna have to go back to St. Peter's Cathedral, St. Peter, to add back to Rome to settle your debts and and for the dead to rise in Christ. I find that very interesting not to get too esoteric there. But um, yeah, so that you have this backpack almost on your back. It's got a bunch of money in it, but you can't access it. But they know they can. So the courts are money changers. These are bankers. These are foreign corporations. Uh, every single court in the nation is supposed to offer trial by peers and not a single one is. They're supposed to be um, Article three and they're not. So. Unfortunately, you have 675 courts that have all been infiltrated by foreign insurrection, and they are all operating as if they're your law and order, but they're not. We technically don't have law and order. We have a bunch of people changing, like, you know, ch money changing under the table. Yep. And, and without our knowledge. Yep. Okay. <laughs> we don't need the bankers anymore, and I can't wait till they dismantle the bankers. Yes, they because have. Because no one's going to trust them. There's no one's going to trust them, especially when there's larger amounts in the bank. I mean, people are going to be like, you're just a thief. And everybody's going to be watching everything very closely. So, yeah, it's going to be The nice. judges are, are really just administrators of the debt. Right. You know, and that's why they, you know, charge fines, which they get a percentage of, too. So they claim the same uh, type of incentives in the court system that they have with the medical system. Mm -hmm. and even, I've seen it in the education system too. So right. it's Which amazing. All, all those institutions need to come down. Yep. They've been cheating and stealing from us since we were born. Yep. And most people don't have a clue about it. Right. I, I've known about it for quite a long time and I'm so happy to see it coming out. So, okay, here, okay, this one, Jenny, um, you spoke about an earthquake by the Great Lakes. Do you think it will reach an effect upstate New York? Did you yeah. say that or was that Kimberly? Uh, I think Kimberly said something about New York. I didn't say anything about, I, I talked about um, the, the water and I talked about the ice storms in New York and I talked about the event that, New York would be the example of the city of seeing chaos and stuff happening like the men black. Um, but I, I did not say anything about the Great Lakes. That was, that was Kimberly that said that, not me. Um, so, um, but the earthquakes are, you know, I've always talked about California, um, that process. And, um, I saw more water, uh, for New York and like this, these waves, like this is what I'm talking about because they're have to do with the energy in our atmosphere that are, that are charging this, that are moving this. So, and that's where California and New York, you're going to see these type of waves down to Florida, down to New Orleans. Remember I showed, I said all, all these, it's, it's just going to affect the whole planet, you know, that's the whole thing. So I'd be looking for something like this in the sky to affect this waves like this. So no, I didn't say specifically Illinois. I, when I talked about Illinois, I talked about the democratic cities, but I never said anything about, uh, um, Great Lakes. Yeah, there. Okay. okay. Um, Uh, she said, uh, uh, somebody's commented on your drawing. Uh, Mandy says, the demon drawing looks like Pindar. Who's that? He's like the head. He's, he's a bad guy. A big, big, oh. big position, the bad guy. Oh, <laughs> um, I don't know how it's, um, yeah. So. It used to be. Yeah, so I want to get to the phase of the futuristic, the future. 
So um, I want to go back to uh, the golden cities. You know, remember we talked about that shimmering titanium. They look like um, straight things that have uh, appeared in the desert and everywhere else, and they all out of the out of the ground that they say they are in. Um, and I, you know, I think those are a type of a podium of light that's going to be activated because the inner earth is a puzzle and how the earth flips. And that's the thing I kept hearing over and over. Are you sure you're on the top and you're not on the bottom of this, this planet? You have no way to confirm that until we see it. Oh my God. I saw a video like that, a, a short video short about yeah, that. It says, and it, was right like, here it, on this. It, it, it says if everything's upside down, uh -huh. Like if you were going to look at the globe, it would all the we're upside down. <laughs> That's what right. it looks like. It's I, what it says. It says the inner oh, earth is a puzzle. How the earth can flip and turn and flip. So you're not you you're not sure of what is up and what is down. Just like they said that the directions of north is south and south is east, and you know they've confused everything. Certain volcanoes can be at the bottom as well as the top. Like some islands can be at the top and at the bottom, you know, because your your mind is like, no, that's what I've been taught. But, you know, really? You better look around how things are changing very quickly. So I've been talking about this. And so, yeah, as they say, oh, so above, so below. And, but they, I've seen that the, and, um, the actual directions that we go on on this earth, west you know and east and that's actually turned around too so then they want to uh i want to go into um remember they keep saying the whole earth is a puzzle um dimension door surfacing around and around like a precious puzzle like a rubik's cube that can put back together as they are showing me light it comes from um, the chairs, which we've talked about, the spiritual chairs, piercing the alignment together in the pyramids and the ley lines. And the big cities stand above everything. You know, um, and we're talking about the, the, the golden cities. Um, so to get rid of everything that is negative off this planet, you have to, the city energy has to arise. It has to raise up. And this is where you have this, this whole black, I call it a black cloud eclipse that they're, they're following, you know, which is wrong to do. Just, you know, stand in your own light. They already sounded the alarm and, and the conscience. You know, I'm talking about that alarm in your mind and alarm in that frequency that I kept talking about. And it's going to consistently play until everything is done. So what I would tell you this week is you need to be listening versus trying to see everything and seeing stuff in the sky. You need to be listening to tones, listening to vibrations and sound, you know, because that's what that's what's going to echo through you. So the plates began to be put in action. So, you know, are we flipping? Are we going to this puzzle process? That's what I'm, I'm paying attention to. Each mountain volcano that moves, moves into a plate of movement. You know, well, are we occupied on the wrong thing? Are we paying attention to the wrong thing? That's the whole thing. How can something as beautiful as nature, like nature itself, can there be a city that has the interaction that is everything above us? It is suddenly you know, appears, you know, and everybody says they've seen those. So, so that's oh, wow. the whole thing. As on top of the pyramids, um, you know, uh, that circular motion, that circular light will all come together. Uh, we need no interference. We need no opinion. You know, and we're talking about these um, alignment of outer beings that are helping us ascend. All the ascending we're all ascending on our own remember what um in the sky shimmering light crafts they were always crafts you know for humanity dismantle um dismantling you know your 3d process you just got to put that down so that's the whole thing this is about a rejuvenation the 
trees of the root, you know, the, the seed of the planet to be come to the surface and rise on its own. So you want to you want to pay attention to anything Tuesday or Wednesday. Pay attention to what your planet's doing. Pay attention to your waves. Pay attention to the air. Pay attention to the light. Pay attention to the sun, not the darkness. Pay attention to animals. Pay attention to the sky. Listen to the sound in yourself because you're a tuning vessel. Um, pay attention to pyramids. Pay attention to volcanoes. What? That's how you're going. It's all has a chain effect of creation as things change. So don't pay attention to this stuff that they're they're occupying with. Um, Somebody, okay. So definitely earth changes we're talking about. Yeah, and it in says- In the water, in the air, on the land. The voice of the frequency is lighter than a monk's voice. Please understand. Um, so you got to be listening. You got to be listening. You got to be paying attention and not occupied in the fear. That's what they want. That's what they're paid to do. That's what they're how they're paid to occupy you. We don't want that. We have to sit in this position of not in fear, holding a podium of light and being calm and allowing to hear everything for once. Somebody's asking a question about any thoughts you have on christian 21 info on eclipse now i'm not familiar with that information are you i'm not either so i don't Can't know what he's saying me. you would have to describe what they're talking about on the eclipse because i don't believe that it's now um this woman valerie was saying that in in oregon general she's a member of the oregon general general assembly and we get our information direct from the good military we are returning oregon to the original constitution and we the people will be the new government mm -hmm. now they had a very problematic uh, governor there what she was doing with the, the schools and stuff but right maybe she's been dealt with by now um right there's a lot happening here in arizona too and that um, mickey clan has been a real leader in that regard because she noticed the maricopa county's supervisor board of supervisors because of the nefarious things they were involved in during the back way back in the 2020 election but all these public officials that are bought and paid for are being exposed right that's they're dismantling and we're not going back to that that's like trying you know this whole election is like trying to put air in a balloon that's so damn deflated there's nothing left to put in it and it's just like stop stop there's no there's no one to choose from there's no one it's nothing it's not in existence anymore and then um there's another one i have calm energy forming over the world you can feel it take over that's the thing i'm talking about you have to let it go you know just be this in this calmness you know and control yourself and um the 3d mindset the normies, humans are staying in the level that they choose of understanding. Let them go. You have a new path ahead of you. Pay attention to your path. Very important. Yeah. Valerie also says, I heard that tomorrow is the great awakening event spoken about in the Bible. The energy coming tomorrow is meant to wake people up. By listening listening feeling it uh, I mean like today I was describing that I felt like um, uh, like I said like just stagnated just zip 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 energy everywhere around me and, and the spirits like just don't go outside don't do this I just feel like you can feel it you can feel the shift you can feel it changing it's over stimulating you can feel that changing so, and that's the thing you just got to pay attention to. It would be a powerful, just imagine this powerful thing. If everybody just stood in their podium of light for this eclipse, they turn their back on the eclipse, turn your back and don't feed it. Can you imagine what that does for this existence of this plane and not giving its power of that darkness? That's what they should be doing. 
So everybody says these meditations, like what kind of meditation are you doing? Is it for the darkness meditation or is it for the light? You know, so I'm telling you, turn your back on it. Turn your back on the eclipse. Do not give it the power that it's demanding that you're, you're putting out there. It's a big nothing burger that they're trying to turn into a big burger. So don't give it the power at once. Uh, Gaila, who are we listening to? I don't know what you mean by that. Um, what does that mean? I'm not sure. You gotta explain that. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, let's see. Uh, Lenore is, says that I like to um, include what people say because they, they pick up things and it just informs us all. And Judson White on YouTube has a great info on Tesla New Yorker Hotel. Okay. Oh, here we go. People speak so sarcastically that it's difficult to understand it. Good, bad, infiltrated. They infiltrated, yeah. But they, they're in a hurry to push it in front of you. They're in a hurry for you to accept it. And that's why I'm, I'm, you know, I'm telling people to think on their own. Stay calm down about it. Look behind the plate of glass in this process and don't rush to what they're trying to suggest to you. Thank you, Valerie. I really like that product. I've been using it for almost a year now. Um, and I, I uh, tell people about it so that I can keep getting it. <laughs> I really like it. Um, so, I mean, uh, for this week, it's just literally, uh, like I said, you wake up on Tuesday and you just tell yourself, I'm going to hold the light in this situation. I'm not going to be triggered. But expect your earth to react from this process in the way that it, it's going to go through. And you just ride it out. On, on this process of this. But like I said, um, we're in the different days of Moses. It's a different type of eclipse that, that triggers people and you saw then how it triggers and you just need to not go down that road with this process. Well, Kevin has an interesting comment. He says, as an interesting fact that a little bolt of electricity from your fingertip to the doorknob was between 35 and 50,000 volts. It would mm. destroy an IC chip, but harmless to humans. Wow, I, that sounds like awfully high. <laughs> right, it's good though. Energy. Ah, yeah, Baja girl, I agree. Because <laughs> when I go grocery shopping in Arizona, I'm constantly getting shocked. It's in the electrifying experience i i was getting to him going oh my god why, why am i getting shocked but yeah there's a lot of electricity in the air i guess well like sometimes i think they're you know they're right. sending out frequencies you know and it's funny um this week it's been uh like i've been getting a lot of calls for because you know and there's just some people they're 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 going to jump on the information at the last moment and you i'm seeing that happen i mean i'm getting a lot of orders for you know, can you look at my energy? Can you tell me, have I been doing the work? Can you tell me that I'm okay for this process? You know, and they're, they're feeling guilty because they haven't, they felt that they have been paying attention to something else. But I mean, it, all it is, is your mindset changing and focusing on what you need to focus on. It's not something like the churches want to, um, Bible built you to death on, you know, that uh, you're not going to make it. So that's the whole thing. It's a process between the, the true light and the false light of making a decision with your soul that you want to serve humanity in a good way. So, I mean, it, uh, people are getting there. They're, they're coming on the last minute, but they're still coming to feel that they are where they need to be in this process. So it's, it's you know, um, they're doing it. So that's all that matters. Okay, let's see. Um, I will. The question up there now is: I know won't have any effect on our timeline. Maybe negate. 
Oh, the, the eclipse are you talking about? I'm not sure what you mean there. You have to be specific. I won't have an effect on the timeline. I, yeah, Baja Girl, I agree with you on that. What I say, all what I say, all the Jenny. We didn't come this far for nothing. Right. We really didn't. Neither did all no. these other um, um, benevolent beings and so on that are watching us in in the skies. And um, we didn't. Um, yeah, we didn't come this far to get destroyed. So let's see. Yeah, Alex is right about the nothing burger. Um, about the nothing that's burger. That's yeah, I was going to put that. Big nothing there, yeah. burger, and. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Just hold, hold the line is the word I would use. And, you know, like the military shuns Biden. They just need to shun the eclipse. Yeah. <laughs> Turn your back on it. Turn your back on it. Turn away from it. Don't even acknowledge it and just go about your day and pay attention to energy. That's what I would say. Well, I didn't. Uh, that's very interesting, Valley. Valerie, the the background. I didn't know somebody you had seen something like that in Inner Earth and Mount and Mount Shasta. That, that's interesting. That's kind of cool. Um, okay, where are we? So I mean, like I said, the main thing this week is that's what I'm just trying to get out with for people. Just stay in the line, stay in the light, stay in the frequency, and just and then I think the trigger the. Uh, pay attention to the energy, and not Tuesday, but Wednesday morning. You really want to pay attention to that energy changing. You know how it it goes up or down, but I feel like it's going to come in in a different way, and you feel a different energy from that that you haven't felt before. You need to pay attention to that. But do I do feel um, you're going to see some chain reactions um, on the coastlands? I do. It's going to react in some way, but um, it's not something I haven't told you before that you're going to get a response from it. But I do believe California, you're going to hear a kaboom there. Um, and then I want to talk about this mirror effect I've been talking about when I, in the sky, it's like uh, shimmering mirrors that you're looking at. And I've, I drew these because how I see it, it looks like, you know, um, dimensional mirrors. You know, and your eyes are just trying to accept it. And because we want to look at look at things in a solid form here, it's not the same. So this is what I talked about this. I did this, what, two, three years ago? I seeing a sh shimmery effect in the sky. You know, it looks like it's, it's partly forming. It's, you know, it looks like it's a replica of the same illusion, but you need to be paying attention to things like this. Um... And that's, that's the thing. I mean, it's not your eyes messing with you. Um, there's a dismantling phase going on. And that's where we go back to the demonic looking process. And it looks like it's melting or it's falling apart. That narrative of how you're seeing that is, it's dismantling. It is dismantling. So... Oh, Kevin is saying that I think the eclipse is a marker trigger point. It'll be game on from here on out. Yeah. After it's just, uh, that's very I, openly, I think I would add. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas before, not that there have things have been happening, but we haven't been um, told about them. Let me put it that way. Right. Uh, directly, anyway. Certainly Not only that, too, I talked media. about, uh, I, I think I gave you the picture, too, was a, I told you about this this uh, feminine energy that's coming into our dimension. The I gave one, you a picture of that. Okay. Yeah, it's got like yeah. five. Okay. Let me bring that up. To the right spot. And now I can share it. Yeah, that one. And then you like the pyramid is the symbol of that light, and then that color of that light of it. It's an epic. It's going to be epic. Is that feminine energy that you feel in a different way of some energies from the past that are here again, and they're going to 
um, place, their energy that's going to be connected to, to nature, um, to that loving energy that something that they wouldn't want. And uh, one preferably was always waiting for this to happen. And so it, um, I'm doing a picture on that uh, person energy. And when I get that down, I'll present it. But, you know, you got to feel that in a very uh, sympathetic way, empathy way, in a, a loving way, which you'll start to notice that too. It's a, it's definitely a female energy. Many. Well, um, Baja girl said too that um, the Native Americans uh, in Arizona here in particular, well, maybe others as well, but all the tribes are different. Um, they say not to go outside or look up at the sun. The black sun will take over. Is what they say. Well, only for four minutes. <laughs> but right. um, it's uh, we just got to hold our light and, and ignore it. Yeah, really, like, I'm it, saying. You're gonna feel that that knowing inside, and you're gonna feel that connection in the first place. I mean, that's the whole thing. Oh gosh, I haven't heard this one, Jenny. Have you? What? Uh, oops, wait a minute. I didn't mean to do that. Um, mainstream media speaks about the Circada invasion happening shortly after the eclipse. The Bible says the Circadas will kill all people without the mark of God. Oh, yeah. I, That's a, isn't that a biblical? Those are bugs. I know. Uh, yeah. They only come out every so many years, but they've done that before. Isn't that every 17? No, not yeah. But anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And then the Yankees are God too. Remember that too. So yeah, whatever. The same crap. You know, so I'm just saying this, it's in the same crap. Um, so it's just a, it's all, it's all fear mongering process and you're going to turn into a serpent or you're going to, I mean, just amazing. The past has just projected this stuff. So Okay, they're saying Valor says American Media Group posted that Project Odin was activated for April 8th in the takedown of evil. Mm. Now, Project Odin, I know I've I know it, but I can't remember what it is right this minute. Um I could look it up real quick as well. Yeah, that's why um, Rocky Mountain Skywasher, that's why I pointed out all the tribes are oh, yeah. different. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, they can they can project all they want. They can put their false gods out there again. It's just not going to do it. Just That's what I'm saying. It's all about creator leading you into the light this time. Their lies are over. They're being exposed. Right. And, right. Like you, and like you said earlier... Um, it will become very obvious who's serving the light and who's serving the dark. Right. Very obvious. And that's the thing, I, even for, I think, what we talked about is just the fact I'm conserving my energy and not putting time into something um, that's not growing or developing. I'm just like, um, my path is that whole get into that process. I'm not looking back on anything. And then I'm conserving my energy not wasting my time with people that just want to replay the whole process over and over again. I'm just done. I'm valuing my time in a different way. Um, and I'd rather be alone and have my own peace versus um, people um, twisting the same nightmare over and over in their head. It's just gone. Um, and that's what's, uh, like said, I'm not trying to push um, or talk about uh, what's going to happen. It's just like if it's, we're at a point that they're going to have to, they're going to hit the pavement. So. So the clarity comes, says, get your puke buckets out. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's when you hear some you. of the things get your that puke been, buckets out. Yeah, when you hear some of the things they've been doing to our children, you will definitely want to puke. Yeah. Um, uh, and, yeah. Uh, things that they've done to us without our knowledge because we were deceived because we believed right. them and some of the people that we 
thought were so wonderful, we're going to find out weren't wonderful at all. Yeah, your neighbor down the street. Even. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just saying. Don't interfere. Don't interfere. Let's see, we got another thing here from Valerie. Um, the military says that the trigger for the EAS, EDS, is the revaluation of Iraq, Zimbabwe, Vietnam, and silver and gold are starting to go skyward. Skyward, yes. And I just heard the um, Zimbabwe came out with the new with new currency, and Iraq has finally been able to revalue, which there was some kind of um, restriction or something was. Um, for some reason, they were blocked because of the United States. Uh, well, I'm just telling the people in the states are going to do an IRS dance when they find that the IRS is done. <laughs> You're going to see people alone on that end. They should be dancing in the streets for that alone. You know, I'm just telling you. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that they're going to be happy about and I tell people to postpone their um, paying any taxes, but most people won't listen. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, because that's they're a foreign company. They're mm -hmm. they're not government. Foreign um, entity. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's one here for you, Jenny. Uh, any thoughts on how they'll roll out to let us know about our true energy from within our biofield? What gives powers will be enhanced? Because you're gonna feel it. This is the thing. You're going to feel it and you're going to hear it. That's the thing that that's, that's not a 3D understanding. I mean, I mean, the people that have been doing this work for a long time, you're already, you're already feeling it. You're already feeling the, act and the activation. You're already hearing it. You're already uh, um, seeing that. We're just, just going into another whole process of this. There's no denying it anymore. There's no certain program that's coming out. It's just, it's in effect. So it's evident, and it's going to roll out more and more and more. Um, Valerie says that she's, she's white seen buses in Portland. White buses in Portland, Oregon. I'm hoping somebody's seeing them in Maricopa County. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't live in that area, so I don't know. And actually, you guys have seen that that TikTok where uh, this guy he does something wrong and then the demon shows up and goes get on the bus you know you're gonna see a lot of <laughs> get on the bus you know you know but i mean it's true they're gonna be plastered their face is gonna be you're on you know it's just part of the process get on the bus so you know it's rolling out um so here we are in this process so Hey, you got to understand that people are in the point of relief, point of just getting to another stage. The future is the, you know, the, the higher technology, the advancement of that pushed in to how we travel, how we take care of ourselves. Um, um, especially tapping, I think into, in the big, tapping into that free energy. That's big. Education. Education is going to be, you know, anybody right now that's going to get their doctrines or going to get a lawyer. I'm like, sorry, we're restarting over. We're resetting that whole degree thing has just gone out the window. So you might as well stop now. So, um, so, so that's the whole thing. It's just a restart point that you're, you're looking at, you know, what, what, what's the natural thing that's going to, uh, that you are going to take with you from 3d to 5d your intuition your instinct um your inner voice your inner language you know that is going with you in this process that was your path to listen to you know so when you find everything else is untrue and not part of this real world anymore um then that's the that's another face planted pavement situation wow the valerie says there was 87 masonic demonic temples in oregon and soon they will be dust they must be doing yeah. some clean you know, serious ash. cleanup in oregon <laughs> that's a good thing really yeah and that's thing. the thing i said uh you see the wind and you see all this ash coming you don't know where it's coming from well, like they said the fog will in and they won't be able oh, to look at this jenny 
Uh, the Delaware Memorial Bridge was on fire today. <laughs> I don't know where Bridges that and buildings. What do you know? The, the Freemasons, too. That's a whole nother, going to be a whole nother expose. Yeah, it's on its way. Especially when you get up the, the 33rd degree, they're going to be. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, the ones that are there know, but many of the uh, lower minions don't know. Right. Wait till they find out. Right. I'm telling you, the awakened ones are going to have the biggest smile on their face for a long time. You're going to be able to move it off their face. I'm it's telling you. I, I, yeah. And then all the t-shirts are going to come out. I'm telling you, it's going to come out. They're going to have it. They're, it's just, it's already starting. I'm just, it's coming. So... Um, what was that little gate? Hold it, hold it. What? Where did that go? Okay. Do you know much about the Starlink, Jenny? Have you been no, I just think that that's, you know, that's part of our, our important process that's going to happen. And that's why when I say the towers, the 5D towers being burnt, don't be afraid of it. And they find out they can, they're actually a weapons. They can be tar they can target people. They can target cities. They can do some mm -hmm. very serious damage. Yep. Exactly. So, so yeah, I think this was a good review in this week to go over on everything. But like I said, uh, shun the eclipse. Short order cook. Yeah, I don't know if you were here when I showed the part with um, Mickey Clan talking about the courts. Um, they've all been infiltrated, and there's no justice. They're just administrators of the um, corporate yeah, debt. Involved. Yeah. Um, and that's all got to change. The, and, and people don't. Yeah, Mickey Clan is great, and I'm I. My hat's off to her. She she did a lot. She also served notice to all of the. Um, Maricopa County Board of Supervisors. Oh my gosh, they she kicked their ass and just yes, yeah, she did. I didn't have a chance to get it, but uh, Sarge, uh, who's another guy I like to watch, um, Rumble. I'm telling you, a lot of those educators are going to be wanting to leave town, and they're going to want to move out because they ain't gonna be able to have peace, and they they chose the the negative over uh, everything else. So I'm telling you, they're not going to have peace. Oh, there's um, a. Do you think some of us are still um, targeted individuals? Uh, I think it's the last um, hurrah that they know. The, the, as I said and repeated again, they're gonna they're gonna take as many as they can with them down. And so there's not you know it's not much. It's just words now, but. Um, it's 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 in process, but it's not a very strong process, um, in that that uh, that system. So all you do is hold the line and just it's, it's gonna pass. It's gonna pass, and it's, it'll be gone, and then you don't have to even worry about it. Exactly. I'm waiting for that day. <laughs> the whole court system is gonna have to come down, and people are gonna have to be. Um, you tried and all kinds of stuff because there's never well you know people are going to be in grocery stores and in everywhere and they're going to go you're going to jail and you're going to jail and you're going to jail i just tell you they are the real ones that really need to go going, to you're going to jail and they're going to get paranoid and they're going to hide in their house i'm just telling you it's coming you're just waiting because they know instinctively inside you they know they're going to hear a knock on the door and they know why they're there you know when you've done something wrong. Let's see. Yeah, the different trusts and yeah, they. they um, I I've read um, that Nasara has been activated and it's going to be yep. implemented yep. through um, April to June. Um, yep. Oh, Baja girl says that she heard that the Freemasons 
rewrote the Bible, which True. really makes sense. I believe so too. They had this all planned, just like the Simpsons. Yes, exactly. And I believe yeah. because Spirit told me, he goes, not everything in there is right. So you just, what we pull and tell you to pull out of there and then the rest, don't worry about it. So, and that's what I went by. I've never went through reading the whole thing, just pulling what they showed me, what it, what I needed to apply. And that's what I did because I was like, yeah, a lot of this does not sound right. It's a well, no win situation. There's no way that you can win the situation. They make you go in circles in the situation. And that's the whole thing. It's just a brow beating Christian yeah. uh, stone and throwing stones. Yeah. First, 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 uh, God is all love, and then next next thing he wants you to sacrifice your son. Right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> wait a minute. Who whatever somebody do that. Right. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It's built on <laughs> so many things like that. And sometimes all it takes is just changing one word. Mm -hmm. You know, it can change the entire meaning. Yep, that's why I, I look at different versions all the time and um, look at them. On the scriptures of how they're written and how you kind of penetrate through the, the truth on that and by your instinct so. where are you located um conspiratory <laughs> she says the judge in this county is pure evil there's a lot of them like that in maricopa county too and yep. there was a book uh, by john harris thaler called report to the governor and he uh -huh. said there were over uh, 2,000 judges in Arizona, <laughs> the ones that they caught, that are, right. you know, that are taking bribes and, and all that kind of thing. Um, once again, people aren't, they're not getting uh, mm. justice and they're not getting, uh, they don't really realize what's really going on. Like you said, they're money changers. That, that's one of the best ways to put it, in my opinion. Like you did, right. Jenny. Right. Um, Baja Girl, I learned a lot from Jordan Maxwell, too. And he was around a long, you know, putting stuff out quite a while ago. And he was right. And every, um, so many people that were uh, ridiculed and shamed and, and mocked and so on are going to be proven to be, have been correct from the very beginning, trying to tell people. Um, I think it's so important to have an open mind. Yeah, well, this is the thing I tell you. When you understand what's done, there's a sense of freedom in a different way that you have not breathed and felt in your existence of this lifetime. And some of the elders in their lifetime, you're going to feel it in a different way. It's a different uh, freedom that's coming um, that makes you understand that you have your space now you can have uh your freedom and make your own choices and not something breathing down your neck and telling you how you need to do things that's that's what i'm saying it's coming so and but with that there's responsibility of recreating um like i said um i think we're going back to the villages small communities um being independent there's work with it you're not going to be able to sit back and do nothing so you want the freedom, you're going to have to work to maintain that and volunteer to be paying attention. Um, so you're going to have to stop. No sloth mode anymore. No sitting behind the TV and doing nothing about it and not volunteering and not putting your energy into something. Those days of what the Democrat has trained uh, Americans to be like in that process, it's over. You have no excuse. The devices that are coming out are going to help you cure all those um, situations that you have within your body, and there's no excuse after that. So you got to stand up. That's what we need. We need everybody to standing, and that's why it's so important to stay, keep yourself in as as good a health as you possibly can. And well, and that's the thing. They're going to have that option. They're going to have to be painless. They just got to. Uh, there. So, and then I'm just telling you, some like, and you know this, they like to play the victim all the time. Yeah. And it's a program. That doesn't mean because you're 
your body is fixed from head to toe doesn't mean you're still not going to try to play that role. You have no excuse anymore. So anyway, um, so that's what I have for tonight on information. Wow, so, time flies when you're having a good time, Jenny. It's already right, been right. an hour and a half. <laughs> an hour and a half. So oh. and, um, everybody else had to contact me. Like I said, I have a lot of um, emails and a lot of people are um, contact me and they just want to have the one-on-one -on -one figure out where they're at and everything. And that's, it's, it's good. They just want to be in line with everything. And so it's Q great. Faye's asking you, Jenny, if uh, you think that the white hats will use the eclipse as a cover for military operations from day one. Mm -hmm. That's what I knew what it always was. That's all it is. Yes, I. This is Teresa said. The system will be changed to councils of light. Right. Exactly. Exactly. We we got um, a smart listening audience. <laughs> so just shun the eclipse. You know. Honestly, just no. I don't think so. You know, we need a lot more people doing that. So, just move on to the next day and, and focus on the new energy that's coming in, not what they're trying to get you sucked into. Boy, I'm trying to scroll through here real fast. Um, and I'll tell you what, I'm, what I'll do with this show is I'll do a playlist like I've done before. And, mm -hmm. and um, this will be on a playlist and I'll run it live again, maybe in a day or two. Um, right. <clears throat> and let's see. Let's see what short order cook. I'm trying to catch as many questions as I can. Yeah. I guess I missed quite a few, but um, so we, I, if you got time, we can keep. Yeah, going for I can while. go through them real quick. That's fine. Okay. Uh, short order cook uh, number one says, did anyone see the water rise flood map that was over the U.S. that aligned with the lands Bill had bought? Not sure of the source or it's verified that it was interesting. Bill, um, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what you'd have to get a, a little more. Who's Bill? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, Teresa says too. The solar vortex just reversed its currents. That's interesting. So you ride out the energy. You stand your ground, and you, like I always tell people, allow energy to come into the left side of your hearing and left side of your brain, and then ride it out to the right side. Don't resist it. Just flow with it. Let it write out you or frequency and energy. You can write this out. Wow. So in this picture, Jenny, that you put up, is that that's representative of energies? Of five female energies that are projecting out this female energy that is connected to nature, connected to the frequency. And I am doing a picture of the main one that has been here um for many times in and then the song stairway to heaven uh has been waiting so um so anyway uh that collective energy is here to hold the light hold the love hold the yeah it's it's great so yeah i'm i'm excited i mean the female energy has been so Suppressed. suppressed right suppressed. and that and that's men and and then that way too so they don't understand it's just like it's not oh you know, okay or anything but it's a it, it, it brings their process into this this caring compassion and feeling that energy too so it's it's a, a different nature nurturing um embracing um, so. Short Order Cook was talking about Bill Gates. The dry lands were the ones Bill has bought. Mm. How convenient for him. It, it's not the real Bill Gates either. He was killed in India many years ago for for um, causing great harm to many children in India. They hung him and his wife. But they, of course, replaced these people and, and they right. either with a clone or a lookalike or a mask or something. So um, Yeah, I just, I, I, I just can't wait till... Oh, what whole play is done. Oh. I know. It's just dragging on and on and on. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, the Navy map. I've seen a couple different ma Navy maps. In right. one, I'd be okay. In one, I'd be underwater. <laughs> I, I, hope I would not be looking at the clips. I would not be, I would, need, I would not give it your time and day. It's not going to happen. Right. Just, isn't, isn't that what you said? I mean, there's a big gonna be nothing some burger. Big, the biggest nothing burger, like Alex Collier says, the big nothing burger. So, yeah. Okay, I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Um, we not be looking at. Any. Well, Jenny is just saying, don't look at, don't even bother with the eclipse at all. No. Somebody's asking about wearing glasses. Nope. Don't even pay yes, attention. Yes, yes, here. Teresa is on on board there. I um, I get the message that all is irrelevant as all is changing. And that's exactly the way I feel. And I know Jenny feels that way. And so do a number of people that are awake. What you can do is flip off the eclipse. I said, fuck you. I'm not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you. I'm not in fear. Flip it off. There. You want to feel better about it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, somebody's saying something about there are many of them that aren't here anymore. That's true. They've either been replaced or they got somebody with a mask on. But I, I like everybody saying, we're really getting tired of this movie. <laughs> Let's make it real. Right. So, oh, let me see. Okay. Well, I think I'm getting to the end of the questions here. Mm -hmm. Well, um, what does she say? QFA says, hoping to see the ones in uh, WP to come forward soon. Um, I guess that will be the end of the movie. Okay. Well, I think we're going to, um, let me stop sharing uh, the divine feminine light that's coming in. That's a wonderful thing. Yes. Yeah, that, yeah. that will bring change from all the aggression and war and all that other crap. Right. Okay. So that's good. So all righty then. All I can tell people is to hold the line, hold the light, and stay in the light. And flip off the eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I'm not having it. I'm not I'm not in fear. I am dead. Yeah. Let's uh arrest all those guys and uh move on. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Thank you for your drawings and, and thanks yeah. for sharing it with See, I'm sure there's more audience. coming. So we'll see what happens. But you guys take care and stay in the light and you know how to contact me. You don't have to. And I keep putting out as much information out there for you all as I possibly can. And um, I appreciate it if you uh, share, like, and subscribe. It helps the algorithms. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> they do try to shadow. They have, you know, they do shadow ban people, especially if you're putting out stuff that they don't really want out there. But anyway, thank you. Stay in the light. Shine thank your you. light. And Good we'll night. see you again soon. Bye -bye. Good night. a brand new day and we'll be making history are you with me won't you stay we have come so far this is who we are and like the rising sun we have just begun to play our part this is the time we form the chorus lift your voice for those before us we can rely on one another feel the pride let's show our colors we are heroes and dreamers we are restless believers stronger than ever never say never don't look back now don't look back now
Show. Sure. 